In this video, I am going to talk about some of the tests and shines in the abdominal examination. The first one is the Barwick's test. It is done to confirm the retrocecal appendicitis. In this test, a hand is placed over the flank of the patient. The patient is now asked to raise the right lower limb of the bed, keeping the knee extended. The patient will immediately complain of pain in case of retrocecal appendicitis. Retrocecal appendix remains in close contact with the swass major muscle which becomes contracted during flexion of the hip joint. Balance shine. It is done to confirm ruptured spleen. Persistent dullness on the left side of the abdomen due to early coagulation of the splenic blood. Even at this stage, shifting dullness is present on the right side. Bed sacking test. It is done in case of early peritonitis. It is applied in doubtful early peritonitis. The foot end of the bed is moved slightly. This will evoke pain at the position of inflamed organ. Boa shine. It is done to confirm acute cholecystitis. Hyperesthesia between the 9th and 11th rib posteriorly on the right side, suggestive of acute cholecystitis. Kopf's Schwarz test. It is done in case of retrocecal appendicitis. The right hip joint of the patient is hyperextended by turning the patient to the left side. This will initiate pain in the case of retrocecal appendicitis. Coolant shine. It is seen in case of pancreatitis. Discoloration around the umbilicus, suggestive of pancreatitis. Gornal's test. It is done in case of hernia in children. The child is held from back by both hands of the clinician on its abdomen. The abdomen is pressed and the child is lifted up. This will make the hernia ap apparent by increasing intra-abdominal pressure. Gray Turner's sign. It is done in case of acute pancreatitis. Discoloration of the loin it is suggestive of acute pancreatitis. Invagination test. It is done in case of direct and indirect inguinal hernia. After reduction of the hernia, this is performed to palpate hernial orifice. It is performed in recumbent position of the patient. Little fingers should be used to minimize hurting the patient. Invaginate the skin from the bottom of the scrotum and the little finger is pushed up to palpate the pubic tubercle. Right hand is used for the right side and left for the left side. The finger is then rotated and pushed further up into the superficial inguinal ring. The nail will be against the spermatic cord and the cord will feel the ring. The patient is asked to cuff. If the impulse is felt on the pulp of the finger, the hernia is a direct one. If the impulse is felt at the tip, it is an indirect one. Kehr's sign. It is done in case of splenic injury. Pain is referred to the left shoulder due to irritation of the left half of the diaphragm by splenic blood. There may be hyperesthesia in the area of left shoulder. This sign is demonstrated by elevating the foot of the bed for 15 minutes, by which time blood will accumulate below the left cupola of the diaphragm. Mallet guides sign. It is done in case of pancreatitis. Pancreas cannot be palpated normally unless a growth or cyst has developed in it. In this test, first of all turn the patient to the right. The hips and knees are flexed. 
the left subcostal and epigastric regions are deeply palpated. This will evoke tenderness in acute and sometimes in chronic pancreatitis. Monihan's sign or Morphe's sign or Monihan's method. It is done in case of cholecystitis. Place the right hand just below the right coastal margin on the lateral border of the right rectus that is gallbladder point. Moderate pressure is exerted with the fingers to palpate the fundus of the gallbladder. The patient is now asked to take a deep breath in. The gallbladder descends and hurts the examining fingers. The patient will immediately wince with a catch in the breath if the organ is inflamed. Obturator test It is done in case of pelvic appendicitis. A pelvic appendix may lie on the obturator internus muscle. When this appendix becomes inflamed, internal rotation of the hip joint will stretch the obturator internus and the patient will wince in pain. Pointing sign It is done in case of abdominal pains. It is done in conscious patient. The patient is asked to point out the site of pain with one finger. Ring occlusion test. It is done in case of inguinal hernia. It is performed in a standing position and the hernia must be reduced first. It is a confirmatory test to differentiate an indirect inguinal hernia from a direct inguinal hernia. A thumb is pressed on the deep inguinal ring that is half inch above the midpoint between the anterior superior iliac spine and symphysis pubis. The patient is asked to cuff. A direct hernia will show a bulge medial to the occluding finger, but an indirect hernia will not show the bulge. Rofsing's sign. It is done in case of acute appendicitis. If the left iliac fossa is pressed, pain is elicited on the right iliac fossa in case of acute appendicitis. This is due to the fact that the coils of ileum shift slightly to the right and press on the inflamed appendix. It is very important test to differentiate acute appendicitis from similar other abdominal conditions. Sign de dance. It is seen in case of intussusception. In intussusception, a sausage-shaped lump may be felt in the epigastrium or left lumbar region. It is usually associated with empty right iliac fossa. Troisier's sign. It is seen in case of carcinoma. Enlargement of left supraclavicular lymph nodes in carcinoma of the stomach, pancreas, colon, breast and in malignant tumor of testis. Trosses shine or thromboflavitis migrans. It is seen in case of carcinoma pancreas. It may be an indication of carcinoma of body or tail of pancreas. Thromboflavitis appears spontaneously and resolves and again appears again elsewhere. Thank you.